And finally this Sunday, the energy drink industry generated more than $6 billion in sales in the U.S. last year. But how much energy do the beverages actually generate? And that's tonight's Sunday cover. The young researcher who spared no energy to find out. We hooked them up with the diabetes educators. It's a safe bet that of all the speakers at the annual meeting of emergency physicians in Boston. You get the top ones. I'll do the bottom. Only one needed his dad's help setting up. 12-year-old Brendan O'Neill, the youngest ever to present here. Many people use energy drinks such as Monster to enhance their performance in sports and other activities, or at least they think it will. So I just wanted to test to see whether these energy drinks really did what they are advertised to do. It began as a science project at Everest Academy in Clarkston, Michigan. Brendan occasionally drank a Monster energy drink before a football game and wondered if it really gave him more energy. So his project pitted the caffeinated Monster against decaffeinated Sprite in a series of tests. His conclusion? Energy drinks as compared to soda pop had no significant effect on your exercise performance or dexterity. That's right, no significant effect. Brendan's dad, Brian, an emergency room physician himself, was shocked by the results. At the very least, he expected the energy drinks would raise an athlete's blood pressure or heart rate, but that didn't happen. He thought the project was so well researched that he submitted it to the Annals of Emergency Medicine anonymously as are all entries to the prestigious medical journal. It got accepted, and then I went and called him. I said, do you know he's 12 years old? Are there any rules against 12-year-olds? And they said, no, we don't have any. Brian O'Neill knows what you're thinking. There's no way a kid did all this work himself. Every father or every parent helps their, their kids with their, their science project. But he says Brendan did most of it, the charts, the graphs. Brendan defended the research to the journal. And it's clear, Brendan was the one who thought of using a video game as part of the experiment as a way to test reaction times after each drink. Brendan says despite the results, he still occasionally drinks Monster, though not as much as he used to. As for the future and what he's going to be when he grows up. I'm probably an emergency room physician like my dad. And being published in a medical journal may make up for the fact that Brendan did not win his school science fair. He didn't even place or even get an A. Just a B plus, obviously a very tough school.